Welcome to our YouTube channel about circular economy. This is the second video in the Design for Disassembly series. A short recap. The goal of Design for Disassembly is to realize durable constructions and create a closed loop by eliminating construction waste. This animation gives guidelines to Design for Disassembly. Components need to have a suitable and standard handling size for disassembly. Due to this standard size, the usability of the components will increase and they will be easy to transport. This will make this assembly more accepted by the construction sector. It is important to have a limited number of different components to maximize the recovery, recycling and remanufacturing throughout the product life cycle. Components with a shorter life cycle should be more accessible than those with a longer life cycle. This will reduce unnecessary waste during the replacement or maintenance. It is important to choose the right joining element for design for this assembly. Components which can open and close, such as nuts and bolts, should be used rather than welds. Because those mechanical connections can be easily disassembled without harming the individual parts. Not only the components should be made for design for this assembly, also the individual parts of the component. The component can be separated into individual parts, such as insulation and structure. This allows minimal damage to other parts during their removal, repair and disassembly. In conclusion, to enhance design for disassembly, the characteristics of the structure, the size of the components, the complexity of the materials and the connections have to be taken into account. If you follow these guidelines, a design suitable for disassembly will be realized. If you want to learn more about design for disassembly, click on another topic to start the next video.